Fromber Valdez pitch to Eddie Rosario leading it off in the third three nothing Atlanta Rosario doesn't want to get to his curveball look for him to be aggressive early he got the curveball the curveball starting to come back a little bit for Valdez but in the strike zone the Braves have swung eight out of nine pitches and they've had three hits and a homer on pitches that were up infield has Rosario to pull and as Dave Roberts said at the end of that NLCS we had no answer for him I mean he hit lefties he hit righties he hit all over the strike zone out of the strike zone different velocities I mean it just didn't matter he's a great bad ball hitter he doesn't walk likes to swing He'll get hits out of the zone which is a gift today with the velocity that the pitchers have and the spin rate that they can which they can make a ball move. He's one of those unorthodox guy longer swing. But loves to hit. 2 1 pitch is swung on and missed. Foul tip hung on to by Maldonado strike two. And that was a good swing against a really good breaking ball he opened up and kind of. Pulled out and tried to stay on it. Starting pitching tomorrow night will be Max Freed for Atlanta and the right hander Jose Urquidy for Houston. And Brian Snitker, manager for the Braves, told us that Rosario would be back up in the leadoff spot. Where he did so much damage against the Dodgers and a ground ball right side base hit. That is already seven hits by the Braves against Valdez. But see, that's what's so unorthodox about him. It looked like he had body would gone out in front, but he kept his hands back on a breaking ball that rolled over the zone. And he's just one of those guys that likes to get hits. Watch how his hands stay back. Opens up the front side and just kind of reaches and hooks the ball. Six of his 14 hits against the Dodgers were with two strikes. That one. Was with two strikes to start the third. You don't see many uh, combinations of batters that hit a higher average with two strikes than they do when they're ahead in the count. And that's exactly what you said. That right there is a little bit of time killing to get the reliever ready to. That's Yimmy Garcia for the second time. It's going to take him much longer now because he's you he said it the second time up. Darno, the right handed hitter on deck. Duvall takes down ball one. I didn't see many change ups. There was a change up there. When you when you have touch, you have the feel that you can throw your curveball or change up at any time, especially against an aggressive style Braves team. They can hit for power but they'll strike out a lot more than the Houston Astros typically will. Valdez just trying to fight to stay in the game. This one is a rocket into left and gone. Five nothing Atlanta here in the third inning. As Duvall goes deep. What a start to game one for the Braves. And that'll be it for Fromber Valdez. Oh, that was quick and to the ball and a missile. This shows you why. I think the Braves were ready. First team in World Series history to score in each of the first three innings of game one. I mean, that is just lightning quick. And I'm going to say that got out of here faster than most home runs hit here. Line drive and that KO is from Valdez. Braves have come out red hot. Two in the first, one in the second, two in the third. Pitching change for Houston. <laughs> 